An Exodus reading. Today is February 25th. Our reading from Exodus is chapter 6. Then the Lord said to Moses, You shall soon see what I will do to Pharaoh. He shall let them go because of a greater might. Indeed, because of a greater might, he shall drive them from his land. God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai, but I did not make myself known to them by my name. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land in which they lived and as sojourners. I have now heard the moaning of the Israelites because the Egyptians are holding them in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Say therefore to the Israelite people, I am the Lord. I will free you from the labors of the Egyptians and deliver you from their bondage. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and through extraordinary chastisements. And I will take you to be my people, and I will be your God. And you shall know that I, the Lord, am your God, who freed you from the labors of the Egyptians. I will bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I will give it to you for a possession, I, the Lord. But when Moses told this to the Israelites, they would not listen to Moses, their spirits crushed by cruel bondage. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Go and tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the Israelites depart from his land. But Moses appealed to the Lord, saying, The Israelites would not listen to me. How then should Pharaoh heed me, a man of impeded speech? So the Lord spoke to both Moses and Aaron in regard to the Israelites and Pharaoh, king of Egypt, instructing them to deliver the Israelites from the land of Egypt. The following are the heads of the respective clans. The sons of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, Enoch and Palu, Hezron and Carmi, those are the families of Reuben. The sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Saul, the son of a Canaanite woman, those are the families of Simeon. These are the names of Levi's sons by their lineage, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari and the span of Levi's life was 137 years. The sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shemai, by their families. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. And the span of Kohath's life was 133 years. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites by their lineage. Amram took to wife his father's sister, Jochebed, and she bore him Aaron and Moses. And the span of Amram's life was 137 years. The sons of Izhar, Korah, Nepheg, and Zikri. The sons of Uziel, Mishael, Elzphan, and Sithri. Aaron took to wife Elisheba, daughter of Aminadab, and sister of Nashon. And she bore him Nadab and Abihu, Elazar, and Ithamar, the sons of Korah, Asir, Elkanah, and Abisaph. Those are the families of the Korahites. And Aaron's son, Elazar, took to wife one of Putiel's daughters, and she bore him Phinehas. Those are the heads of the father's house of the Levites by their families. It is the same Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, Bring forth the Israelites from the land of Egypt troop by troop, it was they who spoke to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to free the Israelites from the Egyptians. These are the same Moses and Aaron. For when the Lord spoke to Moses in the land of Egypt, and the Lord said to Moses, I am the Lord, speak to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I will tell you. Moses appealed to the Lord, saying, See, I am of impeded speech. How then should Pharaoh heed me?